I'm going to use this free resume template and Google Gemini to show you how to write the perfect resume in just five minutes. So let's get started by downloading the free resume template via the link in the description. Now once redirected, click on the free template. And as you can see, you also get a matching cover letter template too. Now you can just enter zero here and click on add to cart and enter your email address and click on get. Select continue without adding and then open templates. Now, if we click on the single page version, you will notice that you can't edit the file just yet. First, you will need to log in to your Google account. Then go to file and over here you can download it as a Word file. But I prefer to create a copy in Google Docs. Go to folder and select your own drive. Name it something like resume followed by the company you're applying for, and then click on make a copy. All right, now that we have a clean and simple template, it's time for the exciting part. Let's see what Google Gemini can do for us. Go to the search bar and enter Google Gemini. Click the link and you'll be redirected to the chatbot. And before we start writing the resume, I want to ask Gemini, what is the best resume section structure? For most job seekers, the reverse chronological resume format seems to be most effective. So for this video, I will follow Gemini's advice and start with the resume header section. Now what you see here is actually a table with borders. Let me show you. Now if you notice a lack of space, then you can simply drag these borders to keep everything aligned. Now for most jobs, it's not really necessary to include a website portfolio, but a LinkedIn address to a professional LinkedIn profile is a must. I've made some good videos for those with and without previous experience, so make sure to check them out. All right, now let's move on to the next step, writing a resume summary. Let's ask Google Gemini for help. Can you write a resume summary based on this job description? Next, switch over to the job vacancy you are interested in. Now for this example, I've randomly picked one. Paste the information in and make sure to add some brackets. Now that's already looking pretty good. Now, if you want, you can hit modify to shorten the response or tweak it to better suit your style. Now, I like to use the generated example as a starting point to create my own version, like you see here. Now, consider adding a quantified summary of your achievements. Include relevant keywords from Gemini's example and also the job title and company name to make it more personalized. Then we arrive at the experience section. Let's see what Google Gemini can do for us and ask, can you write a resume experience section based on this job description? Go to the job description, copy the responsibilities and qualifications and paste them into Google Gemini. Press enter and see what it generates. They can use these examples as inspiration and tailor them to fit your situation. Now to add more impact, ask Google Gemini, can you make it more quantifiable? And press enter. Now you can refine it even further by asking, can you structure it according to the PAR method? And there you go. Now, here's my final version, which is a bit more specific. So what I want you to do is specify the problem, including where it occurred, such as which platform, and include the time spent for the results, like the exact dates or year, okay? Now let's move on to the education section. Here's how I would approach it. Start by stating your degree or certificates and then ask, can you write an education section for my resume? Match it to these required qualifications derived from the job description. Now find the required educational qualifications and copy and paste it into Gemini's chatbot. Now, this approach can reveal any gaps between your educational background and that of the job requirements. More so, how you can overcome them. So if you don't have any academic awards, honors or a high GPA, you can instead focus on relevant coursework. And then we arrive at the skills section. Here's an effective approach to showcase your skills, ensuring they are recognized by both the ATS and hiring managers without taking too much space. However, there are alternative formats that can offer more structure and clarity. In these examples, skills are categorized into soft and hard skills, making it easier on the eye. And that brings us to the project section. Let's enter Write me an example project section for a resume. Now you will notice it somewhat repeats content that could also be covered in the skills or experience sections. Now to avoid wasting space and make your resume more appealing, we could, for example, start with a project title and then separate the role, duration, goal, and results using 
these vertical lines. You see, you can do so by holding shift plus the vertical icon on your keyboard. Okay, once you're done, it's time to download the resume. Let's ask Google Gemini, what is the best resume file type to send to recruiters? Now this is kind of surprising to me. It recommends both. However, I would suggest either PDF or Word. And first, give your file a proper name, such as name, surname, resume. Then go to file, download, and choose either Word or PDF. And there you have it. So that's how you write a perfect resume in just five minutes using Google Gemini.